I knew this was a place to get clothes and that was all I knew when I came here. And I've since found out it does a lot more than that. We are a Christian crisis assistance ministry and uh, we stress both the crisis assistance and also the Christian in the work that we're doing here. I think the ministry is an outworking of the church, um, reaching out into the places that the church always isn't good at reaching. We have a lot more resources because of our partnership with the ministry. I think that this is more of what church is than what I do um, because they are not just Sunday and Wednesday, they're Sunday through Sunday being the church, being the love, being the light of Jesus. We have a, a food pantry that we use to feed families and to, to reach out to those that are less fortunate in the community. On different days of the month or whatever, they have a, a thing they do with food. They go to, to different people's houses, you know. Uh, providing food for people in need. Uh, in fact, one of my jobs is to go to Food Line and pick up food. once a year at Christmas. We also do our annual day of giving. We just invite families that come in, they tell us they need help with Christmas. I heard they were doing Christmas help and, and we actually needed help. My husband has a brain injury and can't work. And we have a coalition of churches that come together and work cooperatively and it's not Baptist and Presbyterian and Methodist and Lutheran. We just shed all labels and for that one day we, we, we just come together as the body of Christ. Just I fell in love with the ministry and I started coming to the monthly um, meetings that they have and worship services. Uh, we also, once a month, have a Saturday night worship service, and the goal there is to reconnect people with the Lord and, and try to help them uh, get plugged into a body of believers that will love on them and minister to them. When they are singing, you just feel the Holy Spirit just surround you. You can just feel God here. You, the Holy Spirit, I mean, He's all over the place. You see the joy in everybody's eyes. And... When I left here, I felt differently, if that makes any sense, but I did. I did. I'd always leave. On top of the world. So much hope. This ministry does more than just give people stuff. That's the thing I love about this place is that Robert and his staff uh, make a point to get to know the people that come in these doors and they find out what the true need is and that most of the time the true need isn't a shirt, isn't a refrigerator, and isn't bills being paid. It's getting to know these people, making them feel valued. It's more than just the clothes, it's more than just the the objects, the you know, buy, it's more than just that. We don't look at any of our ministries as really being the goal. The goal is not just to feed people. The goal is not just to pay a power bill. Anytime someone comes through the door, they are trying not just to feed them or clothe them or get them money, but they're wanting to counsel them and, and ultimately, again, counsel them to Jesus Christ. This ministry is truly concerned with how is your soul. They really want to know are you right with Christ and do you know Him as your Savior? And I don't think that they hold back from that at all. I have cancer. I have lung cancer. I got real sick. I didn't think I was going to make it, but uh, Robert came and It was Brandon, all of them, you know, and my husband took care of me. But I don't know where I would have been if, if I was not affiliated with Christian Ministries. They gave me hope, they gave me faith. They gave me something that I was lacking that I needed. I can't give you all the words that you would like to hear because everything's in here that I feel. But like I said, everybody here loves the Lord. I think whenever they come in, when people come in and they ask them how they're doing, 
um, they truly want to know. If they happen to mention something about, you know, I've got a bad back or something like that, the people here will immediately pray for them. It's, it's amazing. The people here, they love Jesus. They, you can see it in their eyes. It's nothing for them. If you need prayer, to stop what they're doing in the middle of the day and pray with you. The minute you come in the door, you got either a handshake or a hello, a smile, an occasional hug, you know? They make you feel like family. I have been battling uh, depression here lately. Just being able to come down and talk to these guys and then minister to me and just pour in the love of God into me and reminding me that God is walking through this with me, that I'm not by myself and that He is always going to be here with me and for me and these guys are the same. They make sure that I know that they are always here if I need somebody. They're not just here for a paycheck. They, they really love what they're doing. They're, they're here to help, to help people um, to grow in their faith even. But there are a lot of people that come through that door that just need a kind word, a smile to let them know that they matter. Well, uh, everyone who walks in this door, I know they see as a, as a mission field. Um, and we all are, we're all a mission field. And, and they believe in that. It's not a us and them mentality. It's not, a, it's not a we have it and somebody else doesn't. It's that we're all the least of these, that we all, we all need the Lord. And, and, the, and we're all supposed to be ministering to each other. You know whether you're in Christ or not, whether it's affecting what you do. It's not a matter of what you believe, it's what you believe enough to actually 